Choose the site of your test pit. Make sure it is appropriately placed and not near any unsafe features as you will need space to work. Next, measure out your 1 meter by 1 meter test pit and use Pythagoras' theorem to make sure it is a perfect square. Then mark out this square with string. Leave the string in for the entire excavation. Lay out your tarpaulin and pin this down with the excavation tools, but ensure these are appro appropriately placed to avoid unnecessary injury. Then cut the turf within your marked out area into manageable pieces and set aside on the tarpaulin. Trowel back the, the top of the first layer to ensure a level starting point of excavation. Then, using your string as a baseline, measure the depth of the test pit from the turf level to the troweled back starting point. Make a note of this on your fine sheet. Then you can begin to excavate your first spit. A spit is a 10 cm layer of earth in your test pit. Remove this layer by masking, then shovel the earth into buckets. Ensure that every third bucket is sieved. All the while, make sure you keep an eye out for fines. Ensure to check the depth regularly to see when you have excavated your first 10 cm. When this point is reached, trowel back and recall the depth of the bottom of the excavated spit. This will be the beginning of your next spit as well. Continue in this manner, recording the contents and depth of each spit on your fine sheet. If your ground sheet is not big enough, expand appropriately. Ensure you mine the string around the test bit as this is a trip hazard. Remove natural objects like roots in a sensible manner without damaging your test bit walls. Your test bit walls should remain straight throughout the excavation. Once you reach natural, stop. If you don't reach natural, stop at one metre. Do not dig any deeper. Trowel back and record the depth. This is the depth of the end of your final spit. Then you can begin to record your section in the form of a section drawing. Choose the clearest test bit wall as your section. Record which wall this is as a compass bearing. For example, if you choose the north wall as your section, then write north wall next to your drawing. Draw your section using two tape measures. The section drawing should be drawn at a scale of 1 to 10. Remember to measure everything from the baseline. Record the test bit walls and bottom with a dot dash line. Record the turf level and lines of stratigraphy with solid lines. Ensure you mark in both ends of your baseline. Before you backfill your test bit, you will need to measure it into the surrounding area. This will ensure that the test bit site can be found in the future if need be. Ensure to measure in at least two corners of your test bit using permanent features in the landscape as base points. Then you can begin to backfill. Alternate between shoveling soil back into your test bit and tamping the soil in back into place. Once this is done, place your turf back on top as neatly as possible and tidy the excavation area. You have completed your test bit excavation.